So there are three major stimuli for changing the way that muscle works and making muscles stronger, larger, or better in some way. In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest way you can increase your muscles now. The fitness industry has made us believe that if we want to build muscles, the only way to do it is by lifting heavy weights. This is partly true if you want to look like this, but the truth is most of us don't want to look like we're auditioning for a role in the superhero movie or trying to smuggle boulders in our sleeves. Heavy weights can help build muscle and strength, but they are not required. What one has to do is adhere to a certain number of parameters, just a couple of key variables that I'll spell out for you. And if you do that, you can greatly increase muscle hypertrophy, muscle size, and or muscle strength if that's what you want to do. When people like me and you say, we want to build muscles, we usually mean we want to look something like this or this or even this in the extreme forms. Most of us want to build muscles in order to look good. And some of us want to build it only to the degree that it makes us healthy and generally strong. It doesn't matter which type of person you're. This method I'm going to share with you has been scientifically proven to help normal people like me and you to build muscles fast. So the big question becomes, how do you build muscles fast? Now, before we discuss that, why do you want to build muscles in the first place? What are the general benefits of building muscles? It's crystal clear that most people are building muscles not for the health benefit it brings, but for the recognition, an increase in their social status. I'm not in any way saying these are not important benefits, but there are other extremely crucial benefits that will change how you see muscle building forever. Building muscles enhances your overall strength as a human, which make all your daily tasks like walking, lifting, and holding items, or even doing any form of active movement 100% easier. So without building your muscles, you will find it extremely difficult to even do the things we consider to be a minor activity, especially as you age. Engaging in muscle building exercises such as resistance training promotes bone health. Now, remember that these bones are what builds the internal structure of our body. I mean, it holds all the various parts of our body together, so it makes perfect sense we would want to build and maintain it. Building and strengthening muscles, particularly those in the core and back, improves our posture and provides better support for our spine preventing or reducing any form of injury you will ever encounter. So think about what will happen when you don't build your muscles. You will not just look weak and fragile. You will also feel it in every part of your body. This is what leads to most people getting dangerous diseases like sarcopenia, where people start to lose muscle mass and strength leading to unexpected falls and an extreme decrease in their overall bodily function. There are tens, if not hundreds of dangerous diseases caused by low muscle mass that drastically reduces the quality of life. So now that you know how crucial building muscles is, how do you build them? And how do you build them fast? So you can prevent all the harmful effects that come with not doing it. So there are three main stimuli that are responsible for making muscles stronger and bigger at the same time. One is stress, two is tension, and finally three, damage. So there are three major stimuli for changing the way that muscle works and making muscles stronger, larger, or better in some way. And those are stress, tension, and damage. These are the only factors that have been scientifically proven to aid in making your muscles stronger and bigger, with no questions asked. The good thing is, it's not necessary to have all three present simultaneously for muscle growth to occur. Here's how muscle building works under each factor. But before that, what are muscles in the first place? Muscles are simply the tissues in your body that are responsible for movement and strength. When you engage in activities like resistance or body weight training, your muscles experience microscopic damage either through the tension or stress generated during the exercise. So in response to that kind of muscle damage, your body repairs and strengthens these muscles, leading to muscle growth and increased strength over time. This process is scientifically known as muscle hypertrophy, and it's how your body adapts to the demands placed upon it during exercise. So now that you know how muscles get bigger, plus what the three main factors required to stimulate muscle growth, how does each factor work to build muscles? Let's start with tension. How do you generate enough tension to build your muscle? When you lift weights or engage in resistance exercises, your muscles experience some sort of mechanical tension. This tension occurs when the muscle fibers are stretched or contracted forcefully against resistance. It's like pulling on a rubber band. The tension increases as you stretch it. This mechanical tension during exercise causes small tears in the muscle fibers, initiating the process of muscle repair and growth for stress. As you perform exercises, especially those involving high repetitions or shorter rest intervals, metabolic byproducts such as lactic acid accumulate in the muscle. This creates an acidic environment, which is perceived as a discomfort or the burn you feel when you're exercising. This metabolic stress signals the body to adapt by increasing the size and strength of the muscles to better handle future bouts of similar stress. Now let's consider the last factor, which is damage. 
When you engage in resistance training, you cause micro trauma to the muscle fibers. This damage is necessary for muscle growth because it prompts the body to repair and rebuild the muscle fibers stronger and larger than before. As the damaged fibers repair, they become thicker and stronger, resulting in muscle hypertrophy, just like the other two factors. But what does all of this mean to you? This means when you want to build muscles fast, your aim should be to identify the best muscle building factor that will help you reach your goals faster and then focus on that. Because often, most people tend to employ different types of workout hoping they are working on the right muscles, when in reality, the right thing to do is to identify which muscle you want to build and figure out which one of the muscle factors, which is tension, stress or damage is required, or is best fit for that particular part of your body. I will leave examples relating each muscle you want to build to the best muscle building factor you need for that part of your body in the comments section.